Welcome back, everybody. It's the Advanced Photo Manipulation Course 1. My name is Kirk Nelson, and we are beginning the first project of this course, which is a project I'm calling the Angel Warrior. And this is lesson number two, in which we will do some project planning for this course. Now, in this project, we are going to use several pieces of stock photos along with found photography and combine them all together into a really cool fantasy scene. So here we are in Photoshop. Now we're going to create a new document to start with. So what size do we need to do? Well, that depends on what size you want your final artwork and what medium you plan to display this on. If you're designing for print, you're going to want to use a resolution of about 300 because that's the, hot, that's the resolution that most print things are done at. Now I'm designing for screen. So I'm going to use either a resolution of 96 or 72. This determines the pixels per inch. Now the overall pixel dimensions will decide how large the actual image is. And these dimensions here, 2160 by 1215, are the dimensions that I want my final artwork to begin with. So just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to begin with that. I will start with a new document at exactly those sizes. Now, we don't actually want to work at this size. This is the final size. What we want to do is work at a larger size, and then when we're done, we'll scale it down. And sometimes that larger size can be up to twice as big as the final image. That all should be determined by the source photos that you have and the type of resolution that they can support. Now, in this case, I'm going to go to image, image size, and I'm going to increase this by 133.33%. So that is simply 33% larger. So the final image will be 75% of the working file. Don't worry about the math. That's fine. The point here is that you need to work at a size larger than what your final image is going to be so that you can scale it back down afterwards and it looks a lot better if you lose some details than if you try to integrate those details to begin with or try to invent them when the file can't really support it. All right, so now what I like to do is develop my rule of thirds guidelines. Now you can do that by going to view new guide and putting in 33% and doing that each time or if you use this new crop tool, you just click in here and your view is set to rule of thirds, it automatically shows them there. Now, they're only visible when you're using the crop tool, unfortunately. So I like to use that as a guide to then place my guides. And before I can place my guides, I need to have my rulers up. So I'm going to press Control or Command R to bring up the rulers and then just drag some guides down to match up with those rules of thirds. Okay, and then we can switch back to the move tool. We doesn't matter if you want to crop or don't crop because we didn't actually move anything. We'll turn on our guidelines by pressing control or command colon or semicolon. So now we see our rules of thirds. And now we will begin with planning out our, our composition. So I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to switch to a, a pencil drawing implement, and I'm just going to start sketching out what I think this composition should look like. All right, now I'm keeping this sketch really, really rough and really, really simplistic because I know I'm going to be constrained a lot by what type of stock that I can find and what images I have access to. If I planned on shooting my very own stock for this, I could be a little more detailed in this planning process, but chances are I'm not going to be able to go and find a castle that on a hill that I can take my own photos of, nor will I find just a regular castle that I can manipulate to be on a hill. But chances are I'm going to be able to find a stock images for that too. Same thing with certain elements like the wings and, uh, well, a sword bearing warrior. Maybe I could find some of those if I did some casting calls. But for this project, we are going to simply use some stock images. Notice how I positioned the elements along the lines of the rules of thirds. So the general horizon line is on the top rule of third here. And the two 
focal interest points are on those other rules. Now I'm thinking I want the warrior sword to be flaming with sort of a, a blue energy flame. Uh, I want this to be a nighttime scene. It might be nice to have a, a moon in the background there. And you see a castle over here on the hill in a really nice mountainous area with a bunch of clouds in the sky. A very dramatic and a very eye-catching and a resting scene. Let's go and begin looking at some of the stock photos that we will get to use. In the course files, I've included for you all the ones that I've used for this project, so you don't have to go hunting them. If you look into the source images folder, there's a couple of mountainous scenes here. These are my own personal photos. You have my permission to use these however you wish. And then there's also these photos of this warrior woman in sort of a medieval type of garb. These photos come from Photoshop World in 2012 when it took place up in Washington, DC from the Westcott photo booth. And she has signed a photo release. These are my photos of her. You're welcome to use these for this project to follow along. In addition to that, we have some stock from Photolia. And this stock is high quality wings that we are going to use for her wings in this. Now, those come from Photolia.com, which is a royalty-free stock photo site that has graciously permitted me to distribute those files for use in this course. Now, I do have to ask that you use those only for this course and for this instructional purposes. Unfortunately, those cannot be used for additional use. Now, the other files that I have come from Morgue File. Now, in here, there's a lot of good files of rocks and mountains and skies and castles. Just some really good stuff in there. And those come to us from the fine folks at morgfile.com. Now, morgfile.com provides absolutely free, no questions asked. You can use and distribute these however you see fit. So if you want to browse through their catalog, there's a lot there. We will not be using all of these stocks, I just grabbed a bunch of them that I thought would probably be useful and looked like they would fit within the project as I was planning it and just included them here. So go through, pick the ones that you like, use the ones that I show, or make your own with these. That's absolutely fine. Okay, guys, that closes out lesson two. That is the completion of our project planning on this Angel Warrior project. Next lesson, we'll begin assembling the landscape. So I hope to see you guys then.